Hello, today we are going to um, start Unit 3, which is called What If, Šta Ako, and it's um, page 42 and 43 for the beginning. Uh, we are going to talk about some environmental problems and uh, environmental protection. But before we start doing it, we are going to revise Expressing Future. We had some homework to do related to this topic. So let's see, what are the ways to express future in English? Koje sve načine možemo koristiti da izrazimo neku buduću radnju? For example, think about three things that will happen in the future and write them down. For example, people will use technology more or robots will help, help people at work, which are predictions. Dakle, napišite tri stvari za koje mislite da će se desiti u budućnosti. Izrazite svoje predviđanje, mišljenje ili verovanje. Naravno, za ovo ćemo koristiti future simple, will plus neki glavni glagu. Kao u primjerima koji su dati pod brojem 1. So now we, you will have to open your books and write down three things that you think that will happen or might happen in the future. You have my examples here. You can stop or pause the, the video actually and write down the sentences in your notebook. And now number two, think about your plans for the summer. Write down three sentences about your plans. When you talk about plans and decisions about some future actions, you use going to plus verb. For example, I'm going to travel to Greece or we are going to visit our cousins. So pause the video and write down three sentences about your plans for the future. Dakle, zustavite video i ovde napišite dva ili tri primera u kojima ćete izraziti vaše planove za buduće radnje. Koristit ćete naravno going to plus neki glagol za izražavanje namera ili planova. Number three, think about three arrangements you have already made for the future. For example, I am meeting my best friend the day after tomorrow. Srešću se sa najboljim prijateljem preko sutra. Or we are traveling to Belgrade on Friday. Putovat ćemo ili putujemo za Belgrad u petak. So, write down three sentences to express arrangements for the future. Kao što vidite, za već ugovorene buduće radnje koristimo present continuous. And number four, think about one scheduled future activity. For example, my class is finished at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Časovi se završavaju u dva popodne sutra ili završit će se u dva. Dakle, koristimo present simple za neke buduće radnje koje se dešavaju po nekom rasporedu časova ili vožnje i tako dalje. Dakle, kod, svakih, kod svakog primjera zaustavite video i napišite nekoliko vaših primjera. Pod 1, predictions, predviđenja. Pod 2, planovi. Pod 3, ugovorene buduće radnje. I pod 4, primjer za radnju koja će se desiti po nekom raspodu. Ok, now that we have finished with this revision, sada kad smo završili s ovim obnavljanjem, we can start with unit 3 in our box. It's page um, 42 and 43. And it is called What if? Šta ako? Now, uh, we have learned future simple to express future actions. But we can also use future simple in conditionals. Buduće prosto vreme, odnosno will plus glavni glagol, možemo koristiti i u uslovnim, odnosno kondicionalnim rečenicama. You remember these sentences which start with if. 
If it snows, I will go out and have fun. Ako pada sneg, ići ću napolje i lepo ću se provesti. So, in the if part of the sentence, we use present simple, as you can see on the slide. And in the main part of the sentence, we use future simple tense. Dakle, u if delu rečenice koristimo present simple, a u glavnom nezavisnom delu rečenice koristimo budući prosto vreme, odnosno will plus glavni glavu. Uslovnom rečenicom, kao što sam naziv kaže, a radili smo to i prošle godine, izražavamo neki uslov koji, ukoliko se ostvari, ostvarit će se i zradnja i radnja iz nezavisnog dela rečenice. To jest, ako pada sneg, ići ću napu. Ok, this one was easy. So, what will happen if? Šta će se desiti ako? If we cut trees... We will have less oxygen. Okay, do you agree? Ako sečemo drveće, imat ćemo manje kisonika. Or, some animals will become extinct if we pollute nature. Naravno, rečenica može da počne i ovim glavnim delom, a da drugi deo bude if oxygen. Deo, naravno, poštujemo raspored vremena. U glavnom delu imamo will plus glagol, a u if delu, u ovom zavisnom delu koji ne može da stoji samostalno, zavisi od ovog glavnog dela po značenju, u if delu ide uvek present simple. Dakle, neke životinje će biti istrebljene ako zagađujemo prirodu. Or, if we pollut nature, some animals will become extinct. Okay. Now open your books, page 42 and 43. You will see a text like this here. Okay, this is how it looks, like in your books. So what if, šta će se desiti ako? Here we have some pictures on the right, as you can see, and here we have some environmental problems. Imamo neke probleme životne sredine, odnosno probleme sa kojima se suočavamo. For example, a is temperature rise, odnosno porast temperature. B, rivers and lakes dry up, suše se reke i jezera. C, rainforests disappear, nestanak prašuma. D, the seas become polluted, zagađuju se mora. E, extreme weather becomes more common, sve češće su polluted. Sve češći su ekstremni vremenski uslovi. And F, ice caps melt. Tope se sante led. So let's look at the pictures here. You can look at your books as well. So what is in the picture? Which environmental problems? What do you think? This one relates to the seas become polluted. And then the second one. Which one is this? You can choose. Rainforests disappear because we cut trees, we cut down trees. And this picture, it refers to Rivers and lakes dry up, isušivanje voda. And this one is temperatures rise. And the last one. Ice caps melt. Okay.
So here on the left, we have some environmental problems. And uh, here on the right, we can say what will happen if these problems continue. Šta će se desiti ako se ovi problemi nastave? So we have to match. Treba da povežemo od A do F sa posledicama, odnosno pravimo jednu ih rečenicu. For example, what will happen if temperature rises? If temperature rises, look here on the right, which one can we choose? Imamo dakle ovde posledice ukoliko temperature rastu. What will happen? Let's see what do we have here. No clean drinking water. There will be more hurricanes, heat waves, floods and avalanches. Snežno luje. Wildlife will have nowhere to live. Životinje neće imati gde da žive. Sea levels will rise and coastal towns will disappear. Nivoj mora će se podići. I nestaće oblaski gradovi. Crops will fail, neće biti useva. And animals and people will starve. Ljudi i životinje će biti gladni. Sea creatures will die. Morska stvorenja ili morske životinje će izumreti. Ok, now. We have finished the first one here. So, if temperature rises, to je poda, crops will fail and animals and people will starve. Now, your task is to listen to the video and connect or match the left and right side. So, make if sentences. Dakle, vaš zadatak je da slušate video, konsultujete vašu knjigu, odnosno stranu 42 i 3, i povežete levu i desnu stranu, odnosno prvi deo i prečenici i ovaj drugi. Ukoliko se temperature dižu, Neće biti useva i ljudi i životinje će biti gladni. So, we have matched the first one and your task is to match the rest. Vaš zadatak je da povežete ostalo. I will play the video now and you listen and match. Slušajte i povežite u knjigama. What if? The Earth is around 5 billion years old. Today, it is home to billions of people and millions of animal species. With all of its natural beauty, it is a great place to live. However, environmental problems are a serious threat to the future of our planet. If we don't start making big changes soon, the results could be terrible. Global warming has resulted in temperatures rising around the world. If temperatures continue to rise, crops will fail and animals and people will starve. Another problem is that rivers and lakes are drying up. If this continues, there will be no clean drinking water. The world's rainforests are currently disappearing at a rate of 6,000 acres every hour. That's about 4,000 football fields per hour. When these forests are cut down, wildlife has nowhere to live. Lots of animals will become extinct as a result. The seas have become polluted because of human activity. The chemicals, plastics and other waste polluting the sea will cause sea creatures to die. Another serious problem is climate change. If extreme weather becomes more common, there will be more hurricanes and heat waves. Our oceans are also getting warmer and melting the polar ice caps. If the ice caps continue to melt, sea levels will rise and coastal towns will disappear. It's up to us to save the planet. Okay, it's up to us to save the planet. So let's match and uh, finish these sentences. 
So if temperature rises, crops will fail. What about the second one B? If rivers and lakes dry up, what will happen? There will be no clean drinking water, right? Number three, if rainforests disappear, ako nestanu prašume, how can we finish this one? Wildlife will have nowhere to live. Životinje neće imati gde da žive. If the trees become more polluted, if the seas become more polluted, Ako mora nastave da se zagađuju, odnosno ako nastavimo da zagađujemo mora, kao što vidite u if delu svuda imamo present simple, u nastavku future simple. If the seas become more polluted, sea creatures will die. Five, if extreme weather becomes more common, There will be more heat waves, floods, avalanches, etc. And six, if ice caps melt, ako se topi led, what will happen? Sea levels will rise and coastal towns will disappear. Okay, now we have finished these if clauses, završili smo ovi prečenice. And now we will continue to page 44. On page 44 we have one text about helping animals and looking after animals. The text is called Dolphin Dog for a Day. Dakle, na 44. strani se nalazi text Dolphin Dog for a Day. We are going to read it now. So, if we take care about our nature and animals, the world will surely be a better place to live in. Now you can open page 44. Here is the text. It's about looking after dolphins. So this is one thing we can do about animals. And there is a Sea Life Center in Florida, the USA. So let's listen to the video and find out find out about what, what uh, people can do um, by working or volunteering at the center. Listen to the video. Fancy working with one of the most intelligent animals on the planet? Well, that's exactly what you can do on the Dolphin Dock for a day. Our experts here don't just look after dolphins, they also carry out valuable research into these fascinating creatures. The first thing you do when you arrive is learn about dolphin behavior and how scientists collect data. We'll also tell you about our safety procedures. Generally, dolphins are friendly animals, but you must behave carefully around them. Next, you'll get to put your new skills into practice with the latest member of our family, a baby dolphin. Feeding the dolphins requires a lot of work. We need to make sure that they get the right vitamins and minerals to stay healthy. Our animal nutritionists make tasty meals for the dolphins. They'll show you some of the dolphins' favorite recipes, and then you'll get the chance to feed them. The dolphins love the food we prepare for them, so they always get excited around feeding time. Volunteering isn't all hard work. The best part of the day will probably be swimming with the dolphins. They're such friendly creatures that you can even pet them. You'll take away unforgettable memories and you'll be able to share the things you've learnt with your family and friends. We can't wait to show you around. So, what are you waiting for? Okay, so now we have listened to the text. You can read the text in your books as well. 
So what would what would you enjoy most about this program and why? What does this program offer you? Can you look after sick dolphins? Can you feed them? Can you give tours of the center? Can you sell some dolphin souvenirs at the center? Can you enjoy swimming with dolphins? Can you teach tricks to dolphins? Okay, let's let's look at exercise one and two in your books. This is the second exercise. So let's see what is true and what is false according to the video or according to the text. So the Dolphin Dog for a Day program is free. What do you think? Well, it doesn't say in the text that it is free. A lot of thought goes into preparing the dolphin's food. Puno se brine o tome šta ide u hranu za delfine, šta stavljaju u hranu. Is it true or false? Yes, it's true. The dolphins behave differently around meal times. Do they feel the time when they have to be fed? Yes, it's true. Visitors aren't allowed to touch the dolphins. It's false. Dolphin Plus has other sea creatures. It's false. It has only dolphins. Okay, so uh, you can go back, listen to the video once again. And for homework, you will have to translate this text and also write down future action examples, your own examples, as on slide one. Dakle, za domać ćete prevesti ovaj tekst u delfinima i napisat ćete po dva primjera kao na slajdu 1. O budućim radnjama, dakle, imamo četiri različite vremena koja koristimo za izražavanje budućih radnji. And according to these examples of mine, you are going to write down your examples about future actions. U odnosu na moje primere, napisat ćete po dva ili tri primera za sebe. So that was all for this week. See you 